Welcome everybody to my cabin and the second round of worship night in the cabin. I'm Chip Vicchio, worship leader at The Crossing. And every Wednesday night, for a while at least, uh, while this virus is going on, uh, I plan on doing kind of a worship night, talking about some scripture, some of the Bible, and some of the things we're dealing with, and maybe play a couple songs that I've written. So, you know, this is a crazy time we're going through. Um, everybody's scared. Everybody's fearful. Francie and I went grocery shopping today, and I know you've experienced the same thing. People are just different. Uh, everybody's suspicious. Uh, I'm suspicious that, you know, some person has the virus and we don't know if they do or not, or they probably think, I have it. Um, so everybody's staying away from everybody. And, and today we went in the grocery store and my wife, Francie, um, came within, not real close, came within maybe, you know, three, four feet of another person and a lady. And, and she turned around and went to my wife, like, <laughs> get away. Uh, so everybody, you know, the, I think the real reason is everybody is scared. Nobody knows who's, who has this virus. And it reminds me of an old movie that I used to watch as a kid. It was an old, one of those old 50s science fiction flying saucer movies, and it was, it was called Invaders from Mars. And, you know, this flying saucer landed, and uh, it, the aliens inv invaded people, regular people, and, and, but they didn't look any different. Nobody could tell who was, you know, invaded by an alien and who wasn't. It's almost like that. We can't... We can't tell just by looking at people, you know, who's been invaded by this virus. And, and so, so people kind of become really suspicious, almost mean. And it reminded me of, of a verse, one of my favorite verses that's, that's actually in uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5. And it's uh, verse 16. And... The beginning of that verse is really powerful, short, simple, and it says this. From now on, we regard no one from a worldly point of view. We can't regard anyone as Christians. We can't regard people from a worldly view anymore. That's Paul is writing to Christians um, at the, the church in Corinth, and and it applies to us. It's still relevant because we, we can't look at people from... A, now, what is a worldly view? Uh, um, well, it's kind of an opposite of a godly view. So worldly view would, would be looking at people judgmentally, uh, you know, with a mean spirit. Uh, and uh, instead, we should look at people with some compassion because really people... Uh, that seem mean to us, or seem uh, suspicious of us, they're, they're scared. They're really scared people. And we should have compassion on those people. We should be praying for those people. You know, especially for, for some, someone that uh, maybe is alone. Maybe, maybe we don't know what people are dealing with, what a particular person is dealing with. Maybe one of their loved ones is uh, sick in the hospital with the virus, or maybe maybe a loved one, someone they know, died of the virus. I mean, maybe they just lost their job. Maybe you know they're struggling financially and uh, some kind of hardship. We don't know the hardships that they're going through, but um, I know one thing that uh, people need the Lord in this situation, and it's going to be tough to to uh, make it. Uh, without God in the picture, without relying on God. Um, I wrote a song, it's called, um, I Cannot Make It On My Own. And it deals with that, that very, very thing, that when we think that we're in control, that, you know, that's usually when things mess up instead of allowing God to be in control. So um, the song goes like this. I've tried 
tried my best to do things my way, but I must confess I fail every day. Cause when I'm in control, instead of you, Lord, disaster comes knocking at my door. Well, I need you, Lord, to carry my Lead me down this road I must admit If the truth be told I cannot make it On my own So lead me, Jesus I'm trusting you get me through cause I'm totally dependent on your loving grace for your mercy and goodness I'm pleading my case well I need you Lord to carry my load take my hand lead me down this road I must admit if the truth be So listen to my prayer, listen to my cry, listen to my call, and I will survive. Listen to my plea, listen to my sigh. I know you'll rescue me, so I surrender my life. down this road I must admit if the truth be told I cannot make it I cannot make it I cannot make it on my Isn't that the truth? <laughs> yeah, I feel sorry for people that, you know, try to make it on their own and think, you know, they're in control and they're going to fix everything and fix this, you know, this whole virus thing. And really, we got to rely on God and, and on prayer. You know, we're, we're fortunate that we have uh, Lord, our Lord that, that uh, is with us and going through this with us. And, and that's one of the things... Uh, scripture at the very end of Matthew, the last line of the Gospel of Matthew. And uh, Jesus uh, is about to ascend into heaven and, and, and his last words are, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. So even through, even through this virus, Jesus, Jesus is with us. He's not going to leave us. He knows what we're going through, and we, we don't go through it alone. We have the Lord with us the whole time, no matter what, the good times, the bad times, and the stress and all that that we're dealing with and the, the, the situations of uncertainty. He's there. And uh, matter of fact, he always seems to be one step ahead of us. Uh, especially when we look back, you know, sometimes just reflecting on our life, it's a good way to, to see God's hand at work. And, and the more we look back and, and acknowledge that and, re and look at it and realize God was, God was, he was there all the time and he was you know, kind of one step ahead of me uh, the whole time. So I wrote a song called One Step Ahead of Me. And it deals with, a lot of it deals with providence. I believe in the providence of God, that God in his sovereign power uh, is in control and can line up situations and line up people with people. And, and, and uh, it's, it's a lot of times it's more than just coincidence and things happen. And especially, you know, when we see that happen, uh, that should prompt us for, into praise and worship. 
And just praise God when you see his hand at work. Seems like he's always one step ahead of me. And, and uh, that's what the song's about. And it goes like this. Some may consider it coincidence, but as for me, I call it providence. And when I see things working out my way, I'm praising God in Jesus' name. I'm praising God in Jesus' name. You're always one step ahead of me, one step in front of me, making a Trust a real time God who intervenes. I trust a real time God who intervenes. You're always one step ahead of me, one step in front of me, making a way for me. I know that you will work things out in control without a doubt. There's nothing, Lord, that you can't do. It's a matter of faith. I believe in you. I believe in you. You're always one step ahead of me, one step in front of me, making a way for me. I know that you will work things out. Without a doubt, Lord, help me wait patiently. You're always one step ahead of me. Yeah. For me, that's a, that's the truth. One step ahead of me. So, um, until next time. Uh, be safe, uh, pray, realize that um, we need to look at people with compassion, uh, not from a worldly view, but with compassion, love, pray for those people. Um, we need to uh, have courage and realize we have the Lord with us the whole time. He will never leave us or forsake us. He's with us through whatever we go through. We're not alone. And so those are great promises and great truths. So uh, stay healthy, be safe, be wise, and let's close out with a prayer. Father, thank you so much for this, uh, this time uh, together right now in this video as we focus on you and uh, help us to realize that uh, you are with us. We're not alone through this. And, and uh that you're always ahead of us. You're always making a way for us and working things out. And for that, we praise you and honor you and give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. See you next time. Take care.